forget all the bullshit demonstrations. Pressure points suggest the anatomical weaknesses of human body and every single martial arts style has it to some extent. In rear naked choke, pupil press on carotid arteries that cuts off the blood circulation to the brain. The points on carotid arteries are called Tian Chuang Shui in Chinese. We have all seen bath routine damaging pupil's liver. And that is the liver shot that finished the fight. The point on the liver is called Cho Nan Min Shui. We all know what happens if a punch lands on the solar plexus. The Chinese term for solar plexus is Hei Hu Shui. Before the fight starts, the referee says no kidney punches, no rabbit punches. Rabbit punch is punching the back of the neck. In Chinese, Dui Kou Shui. Now let's look at the kidney punch. The point on the kidney is called Jing Chu Shui. Also, every movable joint of our body like kneecap, ball and socket joint of shoulder, and elbow joint are considered as Dima or Dian Shui points. Also, the soft targets like eyes, throat, and of course groin. Any anatomical weakness is a pressure point or vital point. Recently, I worked together with Indian pressure point martial art expert Kiran Ramanathan. Together, we wrote a book on Indian pressure point martial art named Physiology of Burma Adi, Scientific Exploration of Indian Pressure Point Martial Art. In this book, we mentioned about the anatomical terms and physiological reasoning behind the vital points. It's available on Amazon. If you are interested, the link is in the video description. A lot of so-called masters try to present pressure point as a mystic, highest kept secret. It is not. There is no secret in it and every legit fighters know about the anatomical weaknesses of human body. And it doesn't matter what you know. All that matter is what you can use under pressure. Wake up guys. In order to be a fighter, you just have to work hard and really hard. So enjoy your training and all the best.